I know exactly why you clicked on this video, and it should be the only video you need to have clicked on to solve this particular problem. I'm designing a room, I've got lights in the room, and some of my lights, like this guy right here, are not turned on. Why is that? Well, we know a couple solutions to this, or at least what we thought were solutions, but they're not complete solutions. What are those solutions? Well, we could get into the 3D menu and use the Adjust Lights tool, okay? And we could see in the Adjust Lights tool that we have this set to automatic and a maximum lights number of five. So what's happening here is for this camera, we've only got five lights turned on. We can confirm this by going into this very familiar button, edit the active view. And if you're on just a default um, toolbars, it's gonna look like this guy right here, edit the active view. And so if we edit the active view, we get this pop up and we can see here again, automatic maximum lights are set to five. Okay, simple solution, we'll increase the number of lights. We'll change it to 10. And we should see that this rebuilds and should turn this on. Well. There we go, it turned on, awesome, done, right? Problem solved. Then I go ahead and move this camera around some more. I don't save this camera as some new camera. I don't save the camera as I'm moving that same camera. And I do something like, I don't know why you would do this, but place a cabinet on the exterior of the building. Okay, great. I've done placing whatever I wanted on the exterior of the building. I need to go back and work on that, ba that bedroom again. And so I come back in here and wait a minute what happened this light turned off what the heck is going on here i don't understand i'll tell you what's happening every time we place an object chief architect is rebuilding 3d based on the room that you're in or in this case the room that you're not in the exterior room in that case we're outside of the envelope of the building and then it's going to rebuild based on whatever its closest light fixtures are in fact if we were to go over here and just let's just delete this cabinet say we wanted to move it or something copy paste etc let's say i'm going to go way over to the front of this building right and i'm going to put a cabinet here instead well i'm going to put a cabinet right in or maybe it's I'm not going to put anything. I'm going to delete something. For some reason, there's an electrical symbol right out front here. So I delete this object. I knew I needed to delete that for some reason. And I'm going to take my camera way the heck back to the bedroom where I was working. Yeah, sure enough, this confirms it. Chief's going to rebuild based on the closest room's lights. Basically, the basis, closest lights that it can find. So how do you solve for this? There's a number of different ways. One is if you just want a blanket solve, which means that we're gonna turn on all the lights in the building, we could go to either edit the active view or that adjust lights tool. I'm gonna to do edit the active view, okay? And then I'm gonna turn on a light set. Now by default, the default light set, and we'll see exactly what happens here. Adjust lights is the same as getting into that adjust lights dialog in the 3D menu. This is the default light set. At some point, I turned off a couple of lights in my default light set. So what's happening here is Chief is forcing all the lights in this light set to turn on regardless of whether or not your camera is in some other room or not. And regardless of where you're rebuilding based on something that you're placing in the plan. Because believe it or not, every time you place something, it's rebuilding. In fact, to tell you a little bit more about that, if I were to place a cabinet against this exterior wall, not only is Chief rebuilding that cabinet, it's rebuilding the wall, the floor structure that might be interacting with it, the ceiling structure, because that wall was based on the ceiling structure, and anything tied to that, including maybe you've got automatic generated framing or automatic generated roof planes. Anything that could possibly be affected by the symbol that you're drawing is gonna get rebuilt. It's a good information to know. So now I've forced all my lights to turn on. That's great. But what happens when we turn off or turn on all our lights? Well, we're forcing a lot on our system. If we've got a huge project like this particular project is a very large project and we're all of a sudden turning on all the lights in this project everywhere in every room, it's going to take your system a lot longer to trace the path of those lights and as they bounce from material and surface to material and surface again, again, and then back to the camera. 
so it slows it down quite a bit. Here's what I would suggest you do instead. Go ahead and save your camera, okay? Especially in a room like this where we've got mirrors all over the place, this just takes a long time for a system to generate. Go ahead and save your camera, all right? Save it camera as is fine. Name it whatever you like, whatever we like. And then the next step of this is take one extra step and you're going to edit that active view for the camera that you just saved and you're going to create a new light set so we can go ahead and in light set adjust lights and then go new set and i'm going to name this one my master or primary bath your preference and then i'm going to sort by room just by clicking on the column heading we're sorting by that room okay and i can go find that room I can then group select that room and just click on the topmost on column here. Bam. That's going to turn on and force all the lights for this particular room only. All right. And I, in fact, I actually picked the wrong room. Here we go. This is the correct room. Now that I've forced that, this is a new set that's called the primary bath set. All right. And all these lights are selected and forced to turn on done now for this camera whatever we like and in fact we're going to change it to primary bath it's using the primary bath light set and so it's only going to turn on the lights in this room so let's say i want to go work on that bedroom next door what i'm going to do well i'm going to save the active view as again and this time we're going to say this is the primary bedroom and you're going to specify a new light set for just the primary bedroom. And in that way, you've got cameras set up with only those lights turned on for those particular rooms. Yes, it generates a lot more cameras, but it's certainly a lot easier to manage. Alternatively, you could come in, edit your active view, and for the view that you're in or the room that you're in, just switch to that light set. So if I wanna go back to the primary bedroom lights, I can just switch to that light set in my camera and then it's going to turn those lights on and I get to go move my camera back to the bedroom where look at that, the lights are turned on. Hopefully that solves this very common issue that I see get posted on the boards everywhere else so often. I'm hoping that just solves your issues for you. Let me know if you have any questions, leave some comments. Thank you.